start working the kinks out now. Might surprise some people going this early, huh? Unstable, good. Go ahead and get them kinks out now. You try it, see what happens. If it works, it works. If it don't, we'll try it. I don't know what else to do. I don't like we got any other options out here. So I guess that's the great thing about living out here. People can't reach us, we can't reach them. We are cooking chicken and dumpling. We are starting early to get the kinks out before we start the cooking. So we just, he's just prepping and getting everything ready. How's everybody this morning? You on here? Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Hope everybody's having a good day so far. I'm sure it'll get better. Now that you're on here with us. We're gonna make a little chicken and dumpling. We had not had that in a while. And we got a knife fight with one of the hens and she lost. So we're gonna make the best of it. Will your man said happy Easter, buddy. Everybody's saying happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. I saw on one of his comments, he said he worked with you at MCP. Oh, yeah, yeah. Happy Easter to y'all. Happy Easter to everybody. I hope y'all having a good morning. Happy Easter, Gramps. Old turkey season will open up tomorrow morning over here. I'd say next, next Sunday we're probably going to be cooking a little turkey. John said, Happy Easter. Good morning. He's still at work. I got to remember to send you that turkey call. When I leave out in the morning, post office still is closed. When I get off of work, it's still closed, but I'm leaving early tomorrow because I got a couple of packages I got to send out. So I'm going to leave 30 minutes early. So, yeah. I apologize for not getting that to you sooner, John. We'll get it there. Y'all bring me a plate of food over in Alabama. <laughs> Turkey season's already opened over in Virginia. Yeah, it's, it's, hell, it's open just about everywhere else. They moved our season back about two weeks. Trying to build a flock up, I guess, in the area. They took a hard lick for a while. And they trying to get them built back up. That's fine with me. You can tell they... Our two domesticated ones have been fighting like crazy. It's a little cool here this morning. It's about 45. Seemed like it had been raining almost every day here this week. Ugh. I like the way y'all roll not far behind. We'd go on a few minutes early. We're gonna get started. Hopefully, the internet will hold up. And uh, happy Easter from one of your favorite Baltimore guys. Hey, Maddie. Hey, happy Easter. Happy Easter to everyone. But uh, we're not gonna stay on here very long today with it being Easter. We want everybody to spend time with their family. We figured we'd get on here and Chris Markham says happy Easter. That's the one that's always in the video with uh mouth the mouth of oklahoma uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah happy easter again to everybody and, you know i'm from louisiana originally from louisiana so i don't know if everybody's got the same traditions i know everybody in louisiana's dying eggs and 
Getting ready to park. Parking eggs and hiding them from the kids. And if y'all anything like we were, we'd hide eggs for the kids. We wouldn't find them all and we'd forget as adults where we put them and then you'll find them with your lime more. I got my whole rabbit marinating for the grill later. Hell yeah, ain't nothing wrong with that. We're gonna get all these. It's a husk knife, H-U-U-S-K? Yeah. He still chops instead of rolling. <laughs> hey, I like the chopping motion. Easter man, where's the cores? Oh, we got the cores. We got the cores. Happy Easter, y'all. Happy Easter, everyone. I want to come eat dinner with y'all. Come on. Come on. Angie's running a little late on here. I ain't seen her pop on yet. Who's that? Angie, one of the moderators. She's usually on here by now. Well, we went a little early, so yeah. we might have them all off schedule. <laughs> Tell me, do you have your own garden? Yes, sir, or ma'am. Yes, we yeah. do. Where's the cornbread? He'd make a homemade bread. Uh, yeah, I... she may have, too, because she was going to cheat today with some cornbread. But I got up early this morning. Had a fire in the fireplace inside, and I warmed up an old cast iron pot, made some dough, got it rose, and then I made my bread, put it in there, got it rising. It's gonna be, it is right there. She's about ready to be on the heat get it cooked. I'm going to get it cooked pretty early today. Like I said, we're going to run through. Oh, boy, that old bread is smelling good. That's like old Woodrow said, I bet you've been up all night reading the good book. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from, uh, Happy Easter from Bayou Soul. Ooh. Happy Easter, Bayou Soul. <laughs> I see a lot of people have been doing good catching some secondly. Next weekend, we're going to have some pretty good weather. We use gas. I'm going to be out on the, be out on the lake next weekend. <laughs> yeah, we use gas for a lot of our meals, but our, and a lot on the weekends, this is what we use. Let's get them old onions and bell peppers. Florida boy in North Dakota joining y'all for Easter. You can hear that old sizzle in there, boy. It's probably warm this morning. That's what I like to hear. Happy Easter from Indiana. And we appreciate y'all joining us on this Easter morning. Absolutely. I hope everybody has a blessed Easter. We are in north central Arkansas between Harrison and Mountain Home. We got people in Youngsville and Homer. We know some people that live in Youngsville. Uh, the Hiltons. We used to race with their son. And the Vincents. And, oh, yeah, and the Vincents. And K. Fred. Yeah, and K. Fred. Your outdoor kitchen keeps getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> it is. It's nice, though, just to be able to come out here. and. Yes, he has risen on Easter this morning. We're going to continue adding. We're building the cabin as we speak. We're working on getting that ready and yeah, we working are... on building the cabin. We're going to close this in for the pantry. We're going to have this outdoor kitchen. We're going to do some work in here, put some shutters, build some cabinet space where we can keep a lot of stuff out here and don't have to worry about the weather. Yep, we know where Hazard, Kentucky is. Yeah, we are in Ranger Boat Territory. Whew, we're about 12... 
around eight, well, about, about 15 tw miles. Yeah, about 15 miles. The storms came through there the other evening. Yeah, one of the tornadoes, probably, it was in Cherokee Village, probably an hour, a little over an hour and a half from here, right at an hour and a half. Good morning, Cajun and Mrs. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody and welcome. Let's get on this bread a little earlier today. Yeah, because today's my cheat day. That one's cackling this morning. They don't have the fruit and coast seasoning up here in Indiana. They what? They don't they don't have the Korean Coast Cajun season up here in Indiana. Hey, you can know, order it online. You can know, order just about everything online. Right? Forrest Wood was a cool dude. I, I'm sure, bet he was. We never had the pleasure of getting to meet him. But from the stories I've heard about him, he was a very special man. He did a lot for this area, did a soup, a lot. I was just talking about you, ma'am, wondering where you were at. We've been on here, you missed, we've been on here for 15 minutes. We got on here early today. He is cooking chicken and dumplings and some homemade bread. Do you know any Bryants down there? No. Got that going. Let's mix what, up some. What kind of wood are you using? It's uh, red oak, most of it red oak. I go through the woods and usually find some little trees that have died. Uh, I'll cut them up, save all of it for cooking wood, just some little red oak pieces. We are originally from Louisiana, been in Arkansas six years. You look like moonshiners. Ooh, we got a little bit of it. Hello from Cersei. We got a little bit of it, ain't no doubt. Is, uh, is there whiskey in the house? I probably said that one already. Happy Easter to you, Angie. I love your outdoor kitchen. I'm trying to go back and read some that I may have missed if I have. I Happy apologize. Happy Easter, everybody. Good morning morning papa he got a honey mustard glazed ham going on down there we got a little bread uh all-purpose flour baking soda i'm sorry baking powder <laughs> and a little bit of salt i got some melted butter got about a tablespoon of melted butter Somebody said, there's the Coors Light. Baton Rouge John is on. Good morning. Got a little bit of just regular milk. I ain't going to add all of it just yet. Let's see what our texture is like. Yeah, I talked to my mom this morning. She says like 85 down that way on the Mississippi River. <laughs> and it's like 45 here. <laughs> Uh, we are partially off the grid. The only thing that we actually pay for is our electricity for now. We're working on the solar. We want to finish building our house before we put solar panels because we're not exactly sure where we're going to put that yet. Now, I got a, I got a bedroom, which I... It, just because I just think it's funny, but I can guarantee you when I make my video. <laughs> I need a price quote of that shipping of a plate to Talladega. <laughs> when I make my plate on my video later today, I can guarantee you I'm going to get told that this is some store-bought dumplings. For what, the hundredth time? Yeah. I guarantee you they're going to say this is some store-bought do we have running water nearby? We, we do have running water in the house, but we don't have city water or a well. We haul our water in or we catch rain water. Oh, no, like a creek. 
Oh, uh, not on our property itself, no. Happy Easter, my TikTok family. One day I'm coming to eat that man's food. Come on. Tell that turkey he only got seven more months. I love you guys' accent. This is where our water comes from. That's one of them. If they say it's store-bought, that's a compliment. I guarantee, LOL. I got a green bowl. Just look, let me tell you, I know I say it all the time. He makes me nervous when he brings them out here. Have a TikTok camp out and we'll come build it for a weekend. That's what I'm talking about. May have to do that when we start putting the walls and the uh, roof up. Nothing beats homemade bread. Yep, this is going to be my cheat weekend. I kind of cheated a little bit yesterday. I ate a... Oh, Lord. I ate... For the ones that are new on here, I'm on a weight loss journey. Been going on three months now. <sighs> Took a hankering of a chocolate chip cookie last night. Mm -hmm. So I went, I went to town <laughs> and got me a little chocolate chip cookie. And, uh... Yeah, I've been miserable all day. She went to town. And it wasn't a big chocolate chip cookie. It was a small one. I didn't even eat the whole thing. She went to town and got that cookie because she'd been sitting on everything inside to make some for two weeks, and she hadn't made them yet. I guess I'm going to have to start making cookies and cakes, too. Happy Easter from your up-the-road neighbor on CCC Access. Well, hey, you right down, you right there. But yeah, I ate half a chocolate chip, and that just, ugh, that hurt my belly. I've been nauseated with the headache. That's the most, that half a cookie was the most sugar I've had in three months. Yeah, I felt guilty. I did. I felt real, real guilty on that sugar. I'm going to feel guilty. I ain't going to eat a lot of this. I'll eat just the bare minimum, but it's, yeah, I'm, a, yeah. This is how, how you make them store-bought dumplings. Ooh, how can I share some traditional African food with you guys? Oh shit. Just let me know where you want to meet up at. Here, I'm going to... Here, I just, just... Send some recipes. I just sent you a friend request. Message us some. I hope you lose whatever weight you want. She's, she's getting there... I'll find out next week. So far, I haven't done my third month weigh-in. I don't want to step on scales every day. I think I'm down probably a total of... The last time I weighed in was a total of 20 pounds altogether. I think it's going to probably be about 26 total altogether. My third month, I think I'm down about 6 pounds, maybe. But that's good. I'm happy. Look, look at the concentration in that man working on that dough. <laughs> uh, that's, that's how my mom makes her dumplings. Happy Easter from Jackson Parish. Ooh, blackberry dumplings. Ooh. So a lot of, I got, you know, I get a lot of comments about the dumplings not being the drop-in dumplings, being flat. I personally don't really like the drop-in dumplings. I find the inside doesn't cook oh, Lord. equal to the rest of it. So I like making the flat dumplings. How about some fresh lobsters from Atlantic Ocean Mussels Clan? Oh, my Lord, and king crab. You had, mm -mm. yes, hey, yes. you're trying to get my wife to leave me. I love just about any saltwater seafood. Oh. Yes, yes, yes. I'm five minutes from the ocean. Oh. I could eat fish sticks. Oh, no. What? Eat fish sticks. Oh, hell no. Thanks. He's Italian all of a sudden making noodles. <laughs> 
Hey, I've been all over the place. You'd be surprised ever, ooh, what I've been. Ever I've heard? To, ever heard of tomato dumplings? I've had the pleasure of learning to cook a lot of different things traveling all over the world, and I've never taken it for granted that a lot of the stuff I cook is not always. A lot of it, you know, it amazed me when I traveled so much. A lot of the foods in a lot of other countries seem to all come back to the same types of food in a sense that I grew up with. I already got one wife. If I had two, I might be broke. <laughs> yeah, no you're on the wrong side of the camera to lose weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, I think one of the first things she said when she started this weight weight loss journey was uh, she's got to this got to be the hardest thing, or it's got to be harder for her than most. Oh, the rest of the menu I uh, usually had it down lower that says we're from Louisiana, live in Arkansas for six years. Yeah, it is. The best way to cook is a... Here, let me see if I can't bring it down some. There. You may have to scroll the comments over to where you can see it. Let's see the gobbler. Look, he's one right there. Hold on, let me turn the camera around for you. Sure my, my dad lives in Hout Mountain Home, but originally from. I work in Mountain Home. My wife got her a new. Insta. Date. A Mickey Mouse uh, Instapot. <laughs> cooking utensil. She got her. What is it? Instapot. Instapot. Yeah, he's showing off. He does that all day, every day. I can holler at him, and he'll start make. He'll start gobbling and. Uh, he got seven months to live over that oh, they're goblin. Just made a Ford commercial. <laughs> you just made a Ford commercial. My buddy over there goblin. Oh, he cut the rug now. Happy Easter from Bayou Lafouche. Cooking crawfish. Oh. Hey, don't come on here cussing Ooh. like that. Knowing we ain't got no crawfish up here. Cooking a crawfish fricasse. Oh, Joplin, Missouri. No, have mercy. Goose meat hey, and crawfish fricasse. Hey, right there and make you make your wife's panties fall off. <laughs> I'm gonna have to make a trip to Louisiana pretty soon because I ain't I need to get me some damn gore fish. Make some boulettes. You find any morels yet? No. No. I, I got a buddy of mine who keeps calling me. I got to try to get over there and go with him. Backwoods, Virginia boy. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, brother. Adam on it? No, Backwoods, Virginia you know boy. Saying, I know I haven't seen Adam yet. What vegetable you guys growing? Oh, Lord. Okra. Lettuce, cauliflower, tomatoes, corn. two or three different types of onions, corn, snap beans, black eyed peas, uh, shit. And then I've got, I don't know. I don't we know. ain't planting shit. Well, I ain't planting shit. But, uh, <laughs> I've, and then I've got probably about 15 different hey, containers everybody. with uh, all my herbs. Key. His overalls are keys. We are in Arkansas. Been here six years. Hey, you know why I wear a key? Because this is the key to Mar Marion County Road, 8054. I've hauled some corn in Mountain Home. 
went through Yaleville a few times. We've been waiting for you to stop. You keep saying that every time you come on the live. Yeah. We can park you right there at Allen's and Summit and go pick you up and you come have supper with us. Cooked up some morels yesterday. We're going to cook. Go ahead. I'm going to go out on a limb. And Any sweet corn, yeah. I'm going to say, yeah, we got, a, I got, I think, three or four rows of sweet corn. We freeze our vegetables. Well, some of them. Yeah. We're going to, uh. We're going to go out on a limb and say next Sunday we're going to be cooking morels and turkey. Turkey bread. Nice. You have an herb garden. Yep. We have one. We got all kind of herbs. Yeah. I mean all kind of herbs. It's always good to keep them herbs close by. Uh, Mountain Home, Arkansas. Yeah, we live between Mountain Home and Harrison. He was in Lakeview Friday. He was in Lakeview Saturday, uh, paving the new dollar gentral they have over there. What time are those dumplings going to be ready? About three hour drive. Well, you come on, we'll have some leftovers anyway. No, we don't have none of that kind of herbs. Uh. I love Mountain Home, buddy. Got a lake house there. A rape house? Lake house. Oh, I thought you said a rape house. I was like, damn. Shit done went south there. I wonder where Adam's at. Let's get that old chicken in there. Get out of there, son of a bitch. Use that stubborn when you was alive. That was one good thing about that little Insta Pot. Forty-five minutes, and that chicken was cooked. That chicken was deep. We deboning that. Hey, Sunday. hey, the Cajun in the house. Again, I hope everybody's having a good thanks uh, Easter. Thank you. About to say Thanksgiving, damn it. We're talking about turkeys and Thanksgiving. Yeah. Greetings from Massachusetts. What kind of chickens do y'all raise? We've got about six different types. We've got all kind of. <clears throat> Most of them are laying hens. This he, he's a he operates the paver, the chip spreader, the dozer, whatever. Heard about Fred's fish house? Yep, I heard it burnt. That was a couple no of shit. weeks ago. Yeah, the one over the outside of Mountain Home. Oh yeah, 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 I do remember. Yeah, that was a couple of weeks ago. All right, I've got a little bit of heavy cream. I'm gonna I'm just going to leave it there because he keeps walking back and forth. I'm from a town called Oldham in England. Don't have the room to grow my own food, unfortunately. I hate that. You know, you can still do a lot, though, with... Uh, Hello from Georgia. You can do a lot with some gutters. You can build you on the side of your house. You can build you some herb bed. Are you just tired? T huh? I didn't get the first part of your questions. Oh, they got land everywhere for sale up here. Yeah, they got a pretty nice little place for sale right up the road. I gotta move this closer because it's starting to hurt my back leaning over like that. All right, let's put the lid on here and let this make love to each other. What kind of barbecue sauce do y'all eat? Ooh. We use a lot of. Uh, I mean, yeah. what is it called? Country Bob? Yeah, Bob. I, I, to be honest, I mean, and I'm not gonna say I don't like barbecue. I like all kind. I mean, I just ain't ain't a real big barbecue type guy. I know if you're from Texas, they probably just pissed you off, but I know a lot of people don't like this kind of food neither, so. Do you have a preference for chicken for, for the freezer? The what? What? Was that chicken broth before heavy cream? Yeah. Yeah, chicken broth. And then I put some heavy cream in there just because I like putting heavy cream. I like the thickness. Yeah. I get the, I now I get the sugar-free Sweet Baby Ray's, but yeah, Sweet Baby Ray's is good. 
we used to make our own and then we just don't really use enough of it. If I cook something, usually I just make a small batch of barbecue sauce. Price per acre depends on where you are. Around here, I mean, About. you're probably looking at between a thousand to two thousand, just depending on what you get, where you're at. Does he ever get touched to attach that? No, he don't. Get yes, African Americans are welcome. We don't care what race you are, nationality, what religion, or what you do behind closed doors. Come, I mean, Happy Easter from Kentucky. Everyone's welcome. Yes, yes, everyone's welcome. Happy Easter. Our hillbillies welcome, why, of course. Do what? Our hillbillies welcome. Well, hell yeah. Everybody welcome. Hey, as long, yeah, exactly. As long as you're good people, you are welcome. We judge you by your heart. Ten thousand an acre for in Georgia, yeah. Depends on like where you live at around here. There's some land you can probably go. Uh, you go in the mountain home. Yeah, you can go twenty miles down the road, and it's probably about ten, fifteen thousand an acre. Yeah. We in the middle. If you live out in these old woods and you just want to, because that's the thing around where we at right here. I mean, city water is not even an option. Uh, you either got to put a well in or do what we do and. Collect water and Happy Easter. Live the way you want to live. Florida. You know, we building ourselves. There ain't no, there ain't nothing to you. you ain't got to get all kind of people involved. In <gasps> hey, the guy that won the com uh, cancer baby, uh, 1979. Is he on here? Yeah. Morning, my friend. Happy Easter. I'm home from surgery and recovering. Awesome. Man, I'm glad to finally hear back or hear from you and know that everything went well. Again, I can't wait. We're going to go fishing. We're going to do some cooking, some eating. We may even do something like these old chicken and dumplings. Man, I can't wait for you to get better and you and I get together and set a date and make this happen so we can hang out. And yeah, late Norfolk and Bull Shoals is extremely expensive. Puerto Rican hillbilly here. We are called Jibros. If I pronounced that right, if I didn't, I apologize. How much is an average house? Probably around. Average what? Average house. Cow? House. Oh, house. So I, I would, I would say probably from a hundred to two hundred thousand if you're living in the town. Around this area, average, probably about seventy-five to one hundred and twenty-five. They sold here a few, it had been about three, four years ago. Yeah. They sold a double wide, wasn't but about four or five years old. I mean, it was a big old place. Two metal buildings. The buildings were probably 40 by 50 or 60 a piece. And uh, 25 acres went with that place and they sold it for 110000 And then they turned around and sold 60 acres of just woodland. Uh, for about for about eighty five thousand. So I mean, it just depends again on what you want and where you want to get. The closer you get to any of the towns, of course, it'd be a little bit more expensive. What is he making on the bench? Dumplings. My dumplings. This is a old. Yes, dumpling. sir. As soon as I get back to myself, we will set a date. Hello from St. Louis. Welcome, happy Easter to everyone. If you just joining. Somebody said they like rabbit dumplings or rabbit stew. We did rabbit dumplings a, while, a ways back. We did rabbit dumplings. What about a crawfish burger? Oof, that sounds good. How about just a crawfish patty? Mm-hmm. I'll be a kick on that damn bread. We own about two acres in our little village. 
Hey, that's plenty enough to where you can do a garden. Hey, if you only, if you have a uh an acre, you can do a lot on the acre. I love Arkansas. <laughs> I like the way you spelt that one. That's pretty good. Where does the power come from for the appliances? We I, do have electricity. Yeah. And it's the only utility we had ran here. Uh, hey, Wes. Tell your mom and them. We said happy Easter. Love y'all, too. Wes, when you come and visit, I know you know where I live. Y'all ever eat trout? Oh, oh, yeah. We, uh... We're getting back. We do have electricity when we when we moved here. We are called Village Hillbillies. <laughs> when we moved here, there wasn't anything here on the property. And we wanted to move out here pretty quick. So we did put electricity in. We've done a lot of work. Like I said, we're working on the on the actual cabin. Once it's complete, uh we're gonna we're gonna run it off of solar and and then kind of do away with just having dingo breakfast here in Ireland. Okay, you're gonna have to explain that one to me. Having what? Dingo breakfast. That one needs to be explained to me. We're called Village Hillbillies. Look, I've been called so many damn things, I don't even know what to take offense to anymore. If a man's got overalls on, he knows what he's doing. 40 acres, but no mule. Plan on coming this summer. Just watched his video about teaching your kids to be a roofer. <laughs> now that's all just in human. I, I imagine that old boy probably knew what he was doing when he made that video just to get some laughs. Hell, that's all most of them videos are just people doing intentional dumb shit. Damn. That son of bitch done dried up. Come check my bucket. Happy Easter from Ponchatoula. Happy Easter, happy Easter. Try a turducken. Uh, we tried yep. one. I'd much rather just take the damn duck and cook it in a cast iron pot and a brown gravy. Uh, where are y'all from? We are born and raised in Louisiana, been in Arkansas for about six years. My plan is to try to get up there one weekend this summer to visit with y'all. I've been watching y'all. This is Franklin Chicken Dumplings, my favorite. You have internet too? Yeah. No, we are not from Arkansas. We're from Louisiana. Been here six years. Now I want a course. Please tell us about the knife. It's just a knife that somebody sent him. It's called a husk. Just like a chef's knife. How's the weather? It is cold right now. It's like 45 degrees, a little windy. It's been raining and supposed to call for some more rain today. We've been getting a lot of rain, yeah. which is good. We're stocking up on. We probably already in the last, what, two weeks we probably gathered up close to 3,000 gallons of water. Yes, we listen to country music. We listen to about anything. Yeah, I was going to say, yes, when it comes to music, I'm telling you. Depending on what kind of mood we yeah, in. Yeah, I might lose y'all there. I, I listen to just about every kind of music. Just depending on... What kind of mood we in. And what we got going on. We listen to Cajun music. We listen to country music. Heavy metal. Heavy metal. Rap, rap, R and B. Just depends on what the mood takes us to. If the spirit moves us, we're listening to Christian music. Let's get them dumplings in there. Hallelujah. <laughs> I usually cut them a little smaller than this, but you know what? Just felt like fucking cutting them a little bit bigger today. Candy liquor. What? I'm lost on that one. What do you say? Candy liquor. Uh, 
He say a panty liquor? Candy. <laughs> Damn right, I'm a panty liquor. Yep, we listen to bluegrass, too. Yep. Bet he won't listen to my music. What kind of music is that? Hell, I probably I thought, already have if he's on here. I thought he uh, followed you on this page, too. Who? Electronic. He probably would. The one, uh, let's see, what do you got? Chicken and dumplings. Happy, these happy Easter from Jersey Shore. You know who would actually like your music a lot is my youngest son. He gets into a lot of stuff like that. Hell, what kind of music is it? Electronics. Oh. From the Everglades. Yep, he made some homemade. Oh, love making song like stroking. <laughs> That's an old song. I've listened to that a lot. <laughs> and I put the moves on my wife with that song. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard of it. There's a song called My ding -a -ling. And that ain't what it's talking about. It's actually t talking about a bell. <laughs> <laughs> or that song Rub It In. <laughs> If you ain't never heard of those two songs, look them up. My ding -a -ling and rub it in. <laughs> I like a lot of uh Hispanic music too. I may not know some of, I may not know the words to it, but hey, the some of the beats too. Like <laughs> you fuck around break a hip trying to dance to that shit. I'd fight a planet of goldfish to heaven. Woo! Yeah, I've heard the ding -a -ling song. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, y'all missing out on another Yep, me. don't mess with my tutu. You know, you say that? When the second version of that song came out, my youngest, my half-brother was born. And oh, that's, yeah. that's his nickname, Toot. 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 When I was a little bitty boy, my grandma caught me playing with my toy. What is it? With the ding a -ling. <laughs> I think a lot of us are starting to show our age a little bit more. Are those yard chickens? Yep, they are yard. Wait, are those yard chickens or star boat y'all putting in those dumps? Those are yard. I told you, me and that hen right there got in a knife fight. That's a Toot toot. I haven't heard that in forever. What are you? I got more chicken running around and we got ticks. <laughs> I sure in the hell ain't buying no damn chicken. Ooh, I just got finished cooking white beans and southern cabbage with smoked sausage and fried. Whew. And why we ain't hanging out? My grandma used to call my sister Toot Toot. I'm Latino Swamp Boy here in the Everglades. How about these skeeters on oh, my Peter <laughs> I haven't heard that one. I won't have to look that one up. I do some of the cooking. I bought some eggs at the grocery store that still had chicken shit on my picker. They were fresh. Hell, every damn egg we got still got chicken shit on it. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm from Louisiana, Baton Rouge. I'm going to come back to your question about why we move here, but I can't have to stop. <laughs> Watch it. I'm good. Want to know? Hey, Bam Atlanta Cotton. Peace out. See you. Thanks for joining. Laurel, Mississippi. Laurel. My older sister's name, Toot Toot. Oh, I'm so sorry to get. I'm. Didn't mean to laugh when I was reading that. What made y'all move here? Uh, Just the scenery. Really, I mean, do we like the area? I mean, we just well, we loved a lot of areas. We loved parts of you know Pennsylvania and West Virginia, and uh, you know even Wyoming and Montana. And 
We just like the We just kind of didn't want to, at the time, we didn't want to get that far away from family. And we drove through here, found this piece of land for sale, going on vacation, bought it. Two years later, we decided we'd just move out here and uh, kind of get the best of both worlds. We've got the hills, the mountains, the lakes, the, the rivers and creeks, uh, a lot of good fishing, hunting. We're out here in the woods and we're still, you know, within a, a day's drive back to family if we need to. There's Skeeter on my Peter whacking. <laughs> Y'all gonna get me in a giggling mood. <laughs> you know, they say laughter is good for lost weight. You may lose all kind of weight on this live. Oh, I'm sorry. You keep giggling. I, uh, the dumplings. It's a uh, warning. Okay, somebody was asking for the dumpling, just for the it's, dumplings. Tell It's one him. and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. A third. One and a third, I'm sorry, one and a third. Cup, cups of all-purpose flour. It's uh, two tables, no, two teaspoons of baking powder. A tablespoon of melted butter. A tablespoon of salt. What's the salt? Three-quarter teaspoon. Teaspoon of salt. You ain't gonna fucking get it that close either way. Uh... <laughs> I always just guess the shit anyway. And then what I do is I add the dry, put the butter, and then I just add regular milk till it gets to the consistency that you want, uh, which is going to be somewhere close to about two thirds cup okay. of milk. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of caves in this area, a lot of waterfalls. We're north of the mosquitoes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we're north. That, of them. I ain't gonna lie, now, that 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 was one very positive thing about tell him to uh, move about moving here was when we did first move here and realized that they didn't have mosquitoes. Uh, but right now we want it hot in here. It's cold. That that was that was pretty damn. That was a pretty good, pretty good thing. Said, tell I can tell you, I don't give a damn who you are, how you grew up, where you grew up. If you grew up in south louisiana oh. like we did i can guarantee you you have never left louisiana and said oh i missed the fucking mosquitoes no they ain't mm -mm, no that ain't gonna happen the mosquitoes are size of vultures somebody said move the blue tarp so he can get some air it's going to get hot no 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 we oh, won't it ain't gonna get hot not right now we may move it later on but right now it's about 40 fucking two degrees yeah, we have bears. And I'm enjoying this damn heat. Yeah, we have bears and mountain lions around here. We can't run traps. Trap. Anyway. Do y'all run trap lines? I do during the season. Yeah. I mean, I do trap during the season. We don't put no... Crazy. I do during the winter. We don't put no sugar. Uh, I've, I've actually pulled all my traps out already. I thought I was thinking trout lines. No <laughs> trout. You can run trout line. I thought we, you couldn't. Uh, you can. You just gotta. Just a little bit different than in Louisiana. Louisiana, um, you just take off and run line, and run hooks. Here, you got some bullshit. I have to look into it because I don't fuck with them. Something to do with so many hooks on the line, and you gotta put your tag on there and all kind of shit. All that stuff I ain't good at. I'm from Lake Arthur. Happy oh, that's Easter. A good lake right there, though. Happy Easter from Canada. Williamson, I live 20 minutes from your son in Williamson, Georgia. Oh, that's pretty neat. He, what? I ain't live 20 minutes from your son in Williamson, Georgia. He's in Florida right now working. What is he, no chase? Nuh uh. I think he, I told him before. Okay, y'all done fucked around. Wait, and, I got to bend over. Y'all done fucked around and stayed long enough. Pawnee, Oklahoma. Could a Mexican come visit? Oh, uh, yeah. Hell yeah, I've got more Mexican friends than I got any kind of friends. There's the homemade bread, boys, girl. 
Happy Easter, neighbor. Happy Easter. I haven't seen you in a while. We're going to sit there right there and let it cool off. No, you're not. You're going to go get me some butter. Oh, the hell you say. Happy go Easter some for some Doritter. My boy and I started trapping muskrat. I think y'all call them swamp rats. No, we call them muskrat. Wind parish. Neutral rat. Where is your moderator John at? There ain't no telling where he's at. Yes, we have. Work, yeah, he's at Bobcat. Oh, but he's at Bobcat. Yeah, he's at work. Yeah, we have Bobcats. Yeah, they, oh, trout fishing. Yeah, he hasn't really been trout fishing on the White River in a while. I got to get outside and get some work done. Yeah, it's supposed to start raining here around 2 today. I think they're talking about trout lines. Yeah, I know back home in Louisiana, we can run the trout lines like crazy here. They got weird rules here in Arkansas. We just, I, just give me my, my cane pole and stuff. Oh, a fish fry. I'm ready for some sacale. I'm on call next weekend, so I think he's going to go fishing. Oh, damn. I should have got the damn butter in the little butter container. Can I think he's going to go fishing next weekend. Y'all buy the Buffalo River? We're about 20 miles from the Buffalo River. Should have got the one in the little butter container, the damn salt. Uh, yes, we have electricity. I'm here, just wasn't able to message much. I just got home. I gotta move the thing. This is some of them uh, store bought bread. Ovaltine, happy Easter. Ovaltine. Tell Francis and everybody over there we said happy Easter. Maddie was on earlier. <laughs> Buffalo River, oh damn, y'all in Arkansas, yep. Can you ask him where he got some of his? Dutch ovens, whew, yard sales, flea markets, auctions. Some of them we inherited. Uh, this pot, I don't know if y'all can see. This pot right here uh, was my dad's pot. I inherited it. Uh, this pot was a pot that my, my, mom and, my, my mom and dad had, but it was one my mom kept after my dad passed away. She happened to have, I kept this one. I got this one later. Most of these pots, you know, yard sales, uh, different places. There's a couple of them. This one here, I think I actually bought at a damn uh, Cabela's or Bass Pro. Y'all ever use yo-yos? Yep. We use yo-yos. Now yo -yo. that you can't use here. No. That, they're illegal in Arkansas. When I lived in Louisiana, I probably owned about... 10, 15 dozen of yo-yos. And I know a bunch of yo-yos. Yeah. Well, you are here in turkeys and chickens in the background. Yes, we still work. Ovaltine said they're doing a trip probably this weekend over in Baltimore over the summer. Y'all, sh we should come. This weekend? This summer. Oh, Y'all have weekend. honey for that store-bought bread? Yeah, we got store-bought honey, too. Yeah, we got some. No, I need some damn honey, though. We've got some, but I'm always in the market for honey. I'm ready for a plate. It's 945 here. Hello from Scotland. Welcome, welcome. Yo. Yeah, that weird. Happy I'm Easter from a good old Southern Marine Corps. And you're friends with him. Hey, thank you for your service. I always tell y'all, and of course, I've only had one person take me up on when I said this. Y'all ever want to come and hang out, you're more than welcome. Just let us know in advance. Holler at me. Let us know. I guarantee you. How far are the police? What police? They ain't got no police. And bring the shine when we go. <laughs> hey, it's your sister. Which one? Shari. Happy Easter. Girl, love, happy Easter. Love you, big. Here he is, Shari. Look at them old dumplings. 
Ah, look at him. Look at him old dumping. She's on Wes's page. I want to, I still wait for y'all to come back and visit. I guess we can, I guess I can't say a whole lot. We may have to go visit. Yeah. Show Sherry your bread. Look at it, Sherry. <laughs> Got them old show nubs. Ooh. I'm going to the blue, a bluegrass festival this weekend. Ooh. Ain't nobody but my sister gonna know what I'm talking about, but that right there is some more more door yeast rolls. Because I made them a little bit bigger than she'd have made them. I'm gonna take that right there. Look at that. Son, that bad bitch. You better go on now. You'll be in the next fucking cook pit pot. Put a little butter on that. Between Harrison and Mountain Home. I'm gonna slap that <clears throat> butter right in the middle. Slam that shut. She said it looks like Momo Doy bread. That is, that's Momo Doy yeast bread. It took me almost 25 years to figure out a pinch of this and a pinch of that. And that was the only way you could get recipes from my grandma or anybody else back home. Is that chicken from a farm? No, it's chicken from the farm. That ain't store bought. Look, scroll down right there. He lived in a little town called Moraville, which is in Avalos Parish. And I'm from around Baton Rouge. Yaleville is my home. Yaleville, Arkansas? Maybe I need to come for lunch. We're from Louisiana, but we live in Yaleville. You need to make a Dutch oven bread cook. French Dutch oven bread book. We actually working on a, I've been saying this for a year now. We all working on a cookbook. What do you, East Feliciana Parish. We just didn't realize how much work there was into putting a damn cookbook together. I got family that lives in East Feliciana Parish. Or I had family. Well, they still got some that live there. Are you going to Mountain Home to the bike rally? When is it? I may go. We don't have a bike anymore, but we might go. I thought we followed you on this page too. Well, we followed each other. Gizmo Mom. Cause I know it's that we follow each other on 2.0. Well, both account can get so, I get so. Back that tells you how how we remember everybody. Yeah. How far are we from Mountain View? About two and a half, three hours? Well, no, Mountain not that View. far. No. Mountain View, about an hour and a half, maybe two. Yeah, maybe. Watch a tall parish. My brother lives in Lacombe Parish. I mean, Parish. Louisiana. <laughs> you know, I remember the first time I left Louisiana and I told somebody I lived in a bold parish. I am in Johnson and Parish. That was, I think, when, that was about the time I realized that nobody knew what the hell a parish was. Because every other state got counties. Stanton Island. So chicken and dumpling, homemade bread. And he got a cake in there. Got what? You got a cake? I do have a cake inside. He does. I mean. She can't have any, so I'm going to have to force myself to eat the whole thing so I don't tempt her by leaving no leftovers. Slidell. Slidell, Louisiana. <coughs> Where is your dog? One of them's inside. I just made her stay inside, too. Let me go get her. I'll let her out. My wife is from Clydesdale. 
Nothing beats a rooster crowing. Branson, Missouri, you're about 45 minutes from us. Thank you for your service, Woods Branch. He never served in the military, but we do support the military a lot. Walker, Louisiana. I have family that lives in Watson. Look, there she is. That's one of, well, I thought I could get a. Come here. I'm replaying this house right now. This is. What are you doing? Bentonville, Arkansas. What are you doing? <clears throat> We're from Louisiana, but been in Arkansas six years. That hey, that is a good idea. Write one pe recipe a week, and then you'll have a uh, in a year you'll have a cookbook. Yeah, that's what we should have done. And that is a good idea. I guess we need. You know, and the thing is, I could just do a damn. Every time we do a Sunday cook. We could just write the recipe down for that day and then have, like you said, have a book. And as if we'd of, done that, it would have worked. As of right now, no, we're not going back to Louisiana. I mean, we might go spend a couple of weeks at Pollywa Cabin. Yeah, I think we have, yeah, we have plans to go down there. We might go hang out with. In Spring at, Bayou. At Polly Walk Cabin for a couple of weeks. Alexandria. We may go down around Youngville and hang out with... Oh, somebody did ask what's your season, oh, favorite seasoning. Oh, okay, oh. Fred. With Kendall. With Kendall. Alexandria. K gonna... Fred. You can find them at K Fish Fred. Just about any social media group out there you can find them like i said this is not a this is just a seasoning guys i've tried i've had people send me seasoning until i was blue in the face and i don't ever talk about any of them uh i make Chicken my own and seasoning i like my own seasoning and uh kendall <sighs> sent me some seasoning i liked it i've talked about it on one of my lives and uh, it, it's just about the closest thing to what I was making for myself. I never sold it. Don't want to sell it. That sounds like way too much fucking work. So I did kind of throw his seasoning out there, and he's he stepped up and, and sent me some seasoning just for talking about it. And I appreciate it. But and if y'all ever go buy any, I do love it. I, I personally, I do like his seasoning. I. I well, thank you for the pancake. Who sent that? A pancake? Woo, somebody sent me some syrup. <laughs> somebody sent a golden frying pan. Hell Gary yeah. Donnelly, thank you. <laughs> was it cast iron? K okay, Frizz, it was great. Wait, we're happy Easter to you and your family. We just like, I mean, we like the area. We like the scenery, just being secluded. We are from Louisiana, but we live here for six years. Born and raised in Louisiana. We are from Louisiana, but we live here for six years. Born and raised in Louisiana. Going to visit my fr brother in Franklinton and Tangibaho Parish in a week. Do you know Miss Pat from Louisiana? She makes no. We don't know her. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. A lot of people in Louisiana. <gasps> Somebody just sent up a uh, sunflower. Well, thank you. Well, we make sunflower syrup. Is that a, yep, that's a wooden bucket. That sprouts, yeah, pours look, lights. That, that thing, I put six seed in it every Saturday afternoon. And look what I get every Sunday morning. Somebody, I mean, that thing grows. Somebody just sent the Easter bunny. Look, it grows super Who sent that? Fast. Heavy Chevy just sent Easter Bunny. Somebody. Uh, no, we're on it. 27 states and two counties. Thank you, John. I like how you keep up with that for me. Got Sunflower from Carmen Bailey. A, some TikTok symbols from Bad Boy. Bad Boy MF. 
Hey, guys, I mean, all jokes aside, and I know... Thank y'all. I know nobody on TikTok going to say this or do this or... Pocahontas. Are you... I, I appreciate the gifts that y'all are sending, but I'm going to be honest. About 60% of that, and I do appreciate them. I appreciate the fact you sent them more than anything. But about 60% of that goes to TikTok. I do have a bio. You can go in there if you want to donate. The one thing I haven't talked about for a long time is Angel and I do a lot of benefits. We donate a lot of our time and money and things to help people. And uh, we do have a benefit coming up sometime this spring or summer for St. Jude's. Anything I get on creator funds, anything I get in gifts, anything that's sent to my cash app or any of that is directly donated to uh, the next cause. So just something I wanted to throw back out there. We hadn't talked about that in a while. We have a a link that goes to St. Jude's. So if y'all want to donate under uh, Cooking with Cajun, if y'all want to donate to St. Jude's, it'll go straight to St. Jude's. I mean, if you donate a dollar... It's it's appreciated not only by us, but by all the people that will benefit from it, the kids especially. Uh, so, and I'm saying this because, you know, if you give a gift on live, and if it's a dollar gift, and they get 60 cents of it, then we'll donate the other 40 cents. But I, I, I love to encourage people to say, hey, if you'll go and donate, you know, to St. Jude, donate a dollar. Uh, they'll get the entire dollar, and that's what we want to do. We're not, we're, we don't do this to make a penny. Uh, matter of fact, getting on TikTok a year or so ago, we built up to half a million followers on the first account. Actually, it was costing us more money <laughs> than anything. We were doing a lot of benefits, and we were paying out of pocket, and we have no regrets, and we're we're still doing that. Uh, Heck, we did the, what, Folds of Honor, and we raised $6,000. But, I mean, so we've done several benefits, and, again, we had the St. Jude benefit coming up uh, that Angel and I are putting on. We've got a lot of support that's going to come out, you know, and help us with that event the day of it. Uh, you know, uh, old crazy Cajun B is going to uh, try to show up. Uh, her family members are going to come and maybe possibly pay, play uh, their band. So, I mean, we've got a lot of things going on. We haven't talked about it a lot because there's, there's really been a whole lot of things going on in, in, for both of us. Her going to work, uh, living the way we live, there's, it's a constant working. I mean, you, you work seven days a week just keeping things going and garden season is coming. So, anyway... Uh, just something I wanted to throw out there because we hadn't talked about it in a while, but we do have the St. Jude benefit coming up. And again, you can donate a dollar fifty cents. I don't. You can donate anything straight through our bio. You can go to St. Jude and donate straight to them, and uh, and I'd appreciate it. I think you got quiet all. Well, I just talked for three minutes, so I figured you're about a hundred. No so questions behind. Everybody's just saying respect. Good to know hillbillies. Good to know. Uh, and like I said, you know, we did we did foes of honor. Uh, we actually did a benefit for a young lady that has stage four cancer, and we're still supporting her and helping her. Uh, I mean, we just want to help and do things. We're we're not doing this to make <laughs> I'm notoriety afraid. or money or anything like that. I'm afraid if I come visit, I want, I want to leave. Ha ha, that bucket grows Coors Light. Hey, that's a special bucket right there. You guys are cool. What's for dessert? Each other. Shit. <laughs> he got a little bitty old cake up in there. And it's store-bought because if I can't eat it, I ain't making it. But I don't like the way you said little bitty. You know, they might think something else after I just said each other, and then you said he got a little bitty. He got a like little bitty cake. I said, if I can't make it, he... Well, how about you? Are you going to eat some boudin? Can I donate some farm animals to y'all? Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Send them over. I... <laughs> what? 
people are laughing on here when you say little bitty. <laughs> babe, babe, it ain't the size, it's the motion that counts. Bullshit. I ain't never seen a woman smile when she's eating them little bitty fucking sausages at a wedding. She always smiling when she got that ring of boo there. I won't come for dinner if I got to see all that craziness. That's okay. We'll save it if I save it. Nothing worse than a little bitty comment heart punch. <laughs> Throw me under the bus like that and then drive the motherfucker over me. I told you a million times. I ain't nothing Arkansas. to be ashamed about. Mine look that. Let me see how many, how many country folk go on here. I told an old boy something the other day. He didn't understand what I was saying. I told him. And it's all men laughing. I told him my wee wee looked you, like a push, butt, a push button start on a Super 8 tractor. And he didn't have a fucking clue what I was talking about. It's called K Fred's. He said, Wait, well, it, it's, it's what? A push button start? What the hell? I said, God damn, boy. I, I said, I'll tell you what, I said, maybe I, you can understand this. I said, it looked like a piece of bubble gum caught in the afro. Turn it so I can see it. I'm speechless now. <laughs> it's called K Fred's. You can look it up. It's K Fish Fred's. Nothing worse than a Vienna sausage while I'm trying to eat my cornbread. <laughs> <laughs> Damn push button, everybody's laughing. <laughs> Yeah, you can't even have fun in life. I I am country, and my late husband talked just like him. <laughs> what about whenever it's cold outside and you're trying to zip up your uh coveralls? Oh, that's some way cold outside. That's something look like a grub worm with a turtleneck on. <laughs> you got to stick your finger up your butt and holler snake and get that something to come out. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get me to laughing too hard. I just threw up. Y'all really? Li <gasps> oh, shit. Don't get me to laughing too hard. I'll start snorting like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> no, when you can't have fun, you can't laugh at yourself. Oh, hell. You know, that's the problem with, with everything nowadays. They like, no, you can't. You can't even do comedy no more because everybody get their feelings hurt. Yo, I don't, more motherfuckers need to leave them feelings somewhere else. If you got Bunch Vienna. Bunch of candy ass motherfuckers out there. If you got a Vienna, he need a brother. The what? I don't know where it went. My brother-in-law says he's the big chief of the little D club. <laughs> Can I see the bread? Look, somebody changed the subject on that one. Yeah. Look at the steam coming off of that. Boy, Peach, I tell you what, preach, brother. Right I got three heifer calves. Are you good with getting them and three, seven peacocks? Woo, I tell you what, I want a peacock. Let me tell you why I want a peacock. You got a peacock. No, I got a... <laughs> Did I? Oh, Lord. I want a peacock because them motherfuckers, they won't let a motherfucking fire ant walk across your yard without them bitches letting you know. I mean, them some bitches there is, they're worse than Kenny's. I mean. Hell, these damn two turkeys we got that y'all hear all the time. Psh. I guess I'm going to have to buy a book on why in the hell does my rooster think I need to wake up every morning at, at fucking 2.30? I mean, I've even come outside shining a light at that motherfucker and told him I was awake. Just stop fucking cackling. Oh, my. Oh, my grits. Your husband is your younger version of my late husband. You got a good man. Oh, hell, that dog catch a chicken. We eating dumplings for two days. Peacocks are nosy. They will eat your garden up quick. I got a family. That's my, well, that's Listen, my. Uncle. I got enough wildlife out here. 
I was smart enough to build a six foot fence around my garden. He is a hard working man, sometimes too hard. Cause uh, I mean, I don't even have grass to mow around this motherfucker. The, the wildlife will eat you out of house and home. We went, well I didn't go, my wife went and she decided she's gonna buy some flowers and she's going to plant them son of bitches up at the freaking highway up there. And then the driveway. So it would look pretty. Next to a big fucking patch of woods. Well, she planted them. And the next morning she left out. And it was just dirt again. Because the fucking deer come up there and ate her flowers to the ground. You don't plant nothing out here that you want without putting wire around it. Let's see. Did you hide eggs and candy for the old man? <laughs> Hell no. I can put my glasses down and spend half the day looking for them some bitches. You don't need to hide <laughs> no fucking Wait, eggs. <laughs> I need y'all to send me some of that moonshine. That's from Maddie. Yeah, hey, she don't need to hide no eggs. Wait, no, no. Tell her what we did the other Friday night. Hey. At our age, if we hide eggs, ain't neither one of us ever gonna find them motherfuckers. Hey, tell them what. <laughs> we have fucking eggs all over the fucking place we find three weeks from now. We have a six foot fence, so they ain't, hopefully they they haven't eaten them yet. Guess the only thing here today we're gonna get definitely. Hey, tell them what we did Friday night at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> oh, we went to the Dollar Tree, walked in. <laughs> She's on one side. Uh, the I uh, the little turn thing where you get your reading glasses. Your reading glasses. Well, I don't even pay attention to her. I'm on the other side. Just you know, she's on the female side. I'm on the male side. I, I'm like fuck it. I'm just gonna get like three pair of these son of bitches because I keep losing them. So I get three. I go to the counter. Here comes Angel. She's got three fucking pairs. No, I had five. Oh, this is the only thing we bought. So now we go to the counter <laughs> with like eight pair of reading glasses, two <laughs> fucking people, and the cashier, the ca she kind of looks at us and I said, listen, not only can we not see, but we can't remember where the fuck we put our glasses. <laughs> <laughs> and she said, you know, that's a pretty good idea. She said, I need to get my dad about six, seven pair, <laughs> leave one in the oh, bathroom, shit. one in the living room. <laughs> I said, yeah, I mean, I got reading glasses because I can't see. Well, fuck, there ain't no cure if I can't remember where I put the motherfuckers. <laughs> it's some bullshit. Do y'all get many eggs? Oh, my God. Yes, do we? We picked fucking two and a half dozen yesterday. I'm about to put plugs in these chickens' ass or something. I didn't glass so many fucking eggs. Put the eggs next to his glasses or car keys <laughs> and you'll he'll never find exactly. Yeah. Wait, he trimmed his beard up, no? No, I just ain't combed the son of a bitch. Man, they just get bushes that got high from them turkeys. They get that camo up in my face. Let's see if I can get them turkeys to talk. Uh-huh, that's what I thought. It's really bad if they're on your head. Oh, God. Do what? I've done that. They're really bad if you're on the head. I've had a pair on my head, and I went looking around, and I finally found another one. Went and put them on my eyes, and I touched my head, and that's what... <laughs> I've done that before. Oh, shit. See, when you get to this point where you can't see close, you go to work with a bunch of younger guys, uh, and every five minutes, they pull that phone out and say, Oh, look at read this. No, motherfucker, I can't. I can't see it. And I ain't pulling my glasses out every five minutes because you motherfuckers won't look at some dumb shit on your phone. All reading glasses are a few shot glasses. LOL, Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> and what's bad is now all I do is sit there and stare at a... Uh, computer all day. I have three screens at work that I have to stare at. So I'm 
It even works. I've done that a many a times. By, damn, you're by far the small. What the, happened? That must be that wood. Damn, by, you're by far the smartest man I've ever seen. I don't know about all that. No, he's not a crane operator. Don't think I couldn't run that somebody. I was looking for my glasses. They were right in my hand. I just went to yeah. bed. And hey, I, no, no, I'm no, no. I got one for you. I'm looking for my glasses and been wearing them somebody. Did he build that? Yeah. He... Hey, I ain't cooking another chicken today, goddammit. Let me tell y'all something. This is how bad my memory is sometimes. I have looked for my phone. And my phone was in my damn hand. Hell, I was looking for my phone the other day. I was talking to you on it. <laughs> I've done that before, too. <sighs> Turn the phone. Oh, God, Lord. What's in the pan? Do you ever use slap your mama seasoning? I have. It, okay. Here's the thing. Look, I'm not. I'll I, turn the camera on just for a minute. I'm not selling seasoning. Uh, I made the video with Kate Friend. Hello. You sound like that. What was that fucking show? Hello. That old Julie child. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, Lord. I have. I have looked for my phone while I'm talking on it. Look. When I'm in a hurry out the door, yeah, I've done that. The, the seasoning thing, guys, <laughs> I, I'll tell you why I promote or why I talk about K-Fred, and this is a simple fact. It's, it's good seasoning. I love it. I like it. That's just me. But one of the biggest things that sold me, not only on the flavor, was the fact that he has never contacted me and asked me to do anything, and I've never talked to him Copenhagen. about Copenhagen. It. It, this is something I've done on my own because it's a good seasoning, point blank. End of story. Got nothing to do. We don't have a deal, and him and I have never talked on the phone. This is just something I enjoyed. I got it. It reminded me a lot of the seasoning I put together. Here, here's my seasoning right here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, it's just a good seasoning. It's not over salted. It's not over seasoned. It's not over garlic. Uh, there's a lot of seasonings you get, and it's got so much garlic in it that, you know, I don't want garlic in everything I cook. I like this. This is the perfect seasoning that you can add to if you want to. A lot of them you can't add to them. They've already fucked it up by putting too much of something in it. He sells a lot of it down in Youngsville, or Youngsville, depending on... I mean, on... again, I love the guy nope, as far as what he makes. There's no discount code. No, I, I'm getting... Look, I'm doing this on my own. This is no deal. This is no promotion. This is no paid deal. This is just me telling you this is the season that I like. Same with the knife. There's no deal with the knife. It's just a knife that I got that I enjoyed, and for the price, I thought it was a good deal. I let people know. I mean, and I'm not being rude when I say this. If nobody buys this motherfucker, it doesn't, it doesn't mean shit to me. I'm just telling you, I've I've had, I don't know how many people have sent me seasonings that they made, and I don't know how many I've bought that's on the market. We are born and raised in Louisiana, but we've been living in Arkansas for six years. Granddad, Richard, or Richard. Hello, sir. It's getting a little nipply out here. A little nipply? Nippy. No, I heard the other. I heard nipply. If it's getting nipply out here, we're going to oh, take this Okay, we inside. get it. Enough with the seasoning already. Who said that? What do you mean enough with the season? Hello, madam. 
Happy Easter. So here in my area, tomorrow morning, turkey season opens up. We're between Harrison and Mountain Home. What time is dinner? It's ready right now. Chicken and dumplings, and he made some homemade bread. It is ready. I'll bring some green paint if it's okay with y'all. Some green paint? Yeah. Okay. You can never have enough season, no. <coughs> Hope all is well, yes. My aunt was out by the White River. Well, hell, Hello. you need to come visit next time you're in the area. We're not that far from the White River. Or at least this part of it. On my way, LOL. Hello from Gatlinburg. You got one in yard, ain't got to go too far to get a turkey. You got one in the yard, you ain't got to go. Yeah, far. Now, I've got two in the yard, well, three actually. I always figured if I go hunting and I don't get one and get two pissed off. Oh, I'll, you know, the stuff you put in cigarettes. I'll just stop and shoot one of these right in the lip. One of these old thunder chickens. Happy Easter from Kansas. Hello from Georgia. You hear him? Do you ever have bear come through while you're cooking? No. It'd be kind of weird if we did. I moved to Rough and Ready, California from out. I'm to Rough and, and Ready, California out from there. Having turkey today. Let me see if I can't get them stirred up. <laughs> Wisconsin, my beautiful people. Ain't no telling what he's going to go do to them. <laughs> Happy Easter from California. Let me turn it here so y'all can watch the fire. He's probably going to get one of his calls. Let's see. I know he heard a gobbler. I think he went and walked yesterday. And I don't know where Casper's at. He's probably out hunting squirrels this morning. He left out early this morning, and we haven't seen him since. I'm flying in from New York to eat. Let's see if we can't get them old turkeys stirred up. This is one of them calls with the crag in it. Slate crack right down the center. First, I'll listen, wait, wait. I truly love you, you're too energy, but I can't handle the foul language and cursing. Okay, well. Okay. No, they have not come and mingled with the tame ones. What the hell's going on over there? We are smoking ham on the grill. That sounds good. What kind of wood you used on that shed? On the what? Shed. Pine and cedar. That pine here. Cedar post. Cedar on top. This whole wall is cedar. Everything behind us is cedar. I that gotta go pull the ham out. Foul is my cup of tea. Does a wild turkey taste different than a tame turkey? Yeah. Yeah, anything domestic is going to taste, taste different. And I say that, I mean, hell, there are people that probably feed the deer and the turkeys enough corn 
that they don't eat the natural foods they have because they rely on the the feed that people put out. You know, you got, I mean, and that's, I'm not talking down on it, but you've got people that have the resources to plant, you know, acres of food plots and, uh, you know, put out hundreds of, if not thousands of pounds of feed and corn and so forth. And, uh, you know, they're no different than people. If you give them a bunch of free shit, they'll quit relying on looking for it on their own <laughs> and working for it. They'll just start eating what's available and free. And that's kind of how most people get, you know, get the wildlife that they get today is they, they don't actually hunt for it. They just prep in advance to feed them and get them so comfortable and expecting to just come and get a free meal. And then they just take them out while they're eating. Uh, John, I know a lot of guys on here are going to get mad at me for saying that, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, and that's exactly what it is. So some some even deer don't taste the same as others. The, the ones that are living in a 20-acre food plot with thousands of pounds of feed on it every week, uh, they're not going to taste the same as the deer that's actually out there living off the actual land. Uh, the same with the turkeys. I mean, domestic turkeys depend on us to feed them. We don't feed the wild turkeys, so they eat. A whole different diet than our turkeys do. John said you're playing with his turkey call again. I am. This is yours, John. This is actually your call and striker. What are we cooking? What are we? Uh, I don't know what we're gonna cook next Sunday. We usually don't decide that till fr Friday night. Cook, no, I'll go out on a limb. We're gonna cook turkey breast. We're gonna fry turkey breast and morel mushrooms. Is what we're gonna be cooking next you, Sunday. You better start looking for some morels. You don't worry about that. I will find morels. I mean, I could find morels. Because I know where they at. They're just not here. <laughs> <laughs> but I know where they are. And I just got a text last night from a buddy of mine that has put his eyes on them. So, so you going fishing or morel hunting next weekend? Both. All boat of them. All boat of them. I'm going to do all boat of them. I'm going to get up early as hell and go fishing. Yep, that's a uh, domesticated turkey right there. Then I'm going to go morel hunting. And between now and next Saturday, I'm going to shoot a big old galva right in the lips. Damn, I hope it ain't one of the ones I'm feeding. Because <laughs> this shit get Thanks. rough. One of them there got to go. Uh, his address is in the bio. What they send? I don't know. What's the address to mail you both stuff? I don't know. Send, don't mail what? You both stuff. Hey, look. What are you sending? We want to send you something back, or at least send me a return address so that we can we can send you something back. That's. They out in Virginia. His buddy found two hundred of them yesterday. Hmm. We're supposed to get some more rain this afternoon. Well, hey, it's supposed to be like almost 85 Friday. I, I can tell you this coming week, the weather's going to warm up. The morels are going to fucking Chicken and dumplings. sprout. Uh, we're going to find some this week. Uh, there's, a, there's a, we're a little different here. And it's kind of, it's, it's kind of hard to even explain Cause even a lot of local people don't fucking understand it. They live, they live on either side of us. I might go back to calling birds for money with that call. They they live on both sides of us, and believe it or not, we at the peak of the mountain that we live around, 
And I'll show I'll, one more time. I'll, I'll, I'll temperature here is different than it is even three, four miles from here. Hey everybody. It's still bad hair day. This old striker is uh oh, it would be a good day to check out around the job site. Man, they actually got a pretty good spot over there. I need to go check. I'll be checking it probably tomorrow morning. Okay, I'm gonna go or I'm gonna start talking like him. <laughs> Y'all need to get the mushrooms early. They're Again, just... We get, we get our mushrooms about three weeks after they do, only three, four miles from here. The Hello from so La we'll get We'll get eight inches of snow here and three miles either way of us, they'll get two or three inches of snow. Yeah, most of them are just now this week. This past week, they just started getting a bunch of morels around here. Hello from Laplace. Last Saturday we had snow, then rain. Yep. Let's see. Last this past week we've had sleet, rain, tornadoes, snow. Snow. Then we had rain. Then Friday we had tornadoes, rain, rain. all day yesterday, sleet. rain last night, and then we got rain today. Or oh, hail, not sleet, hail. Yeah. Can you zoom into the spice? Turn it around. The the key the key to uh, hunting morels, and that's why I say it's it's hard to explain and people don't really understand. But the actual temperature during the day, and the actual temperature at night, where you're at, not not what the Weather Channel says, Hello from has Canada. got to add up to 102 plus degrees for the morels to start sprouting. They've had that five miles from here. I mean, right now it's probably, I don't know how, I don't know where the temperature is, say in town, which is about eight, 10 miles from here. And they're like two de temperatures. But two I mean, I'm, I'm actually still blowing smoke. Up the ass. Out my, out my ass. True that. But I can promise you, it's probably an eight, 10 degree difference between here and in town. It's 47 and feels like 41 here. In town, it's probably about 52, 53 degrees. Look for Trum. Don't eat squirrels. Huh? Flowers, they are a good indicator. I'm going to have to sh take, I'm going to have to look that flower up, John, and show it to him. What is it? Hold on. No, we're not in Louisiana. We were born and raised there, but we're in Arkansas now. We got a severe thunderstorm warning here in North Louisiana. I know we got some severe thunderstorms coming after two o'clock today. 81 in Baton Rouge. I know I talked to my mom that lives over on Lake Mary, right there on the Mississippi, uh, which y'all that live down that way know where that's at. Uh, it was 85, like at 10 o'clock this morning, she said. John said, look for this flower. Yeah. To find you the morels. We are between Harrison and Mountain Home. Do not eat squirrels. They don't do that in New York. I'd be a kind of a... Uh-huh. 2020, I was in Michigan and found 20 pounds in three hours. Woo! The crew went nuts for them. I bet. Hell yeah. Well, I tell you what, you cook morel. Man, I don't... You know, a lot of people... There, there's people around here that'll find them and, uh, and sell them. They're about... 
fifty dollars. Forty five, fifty dollars a pound. Uh, but you know, morel is the one mushroom that has never been. They no one has ever been able to, you know, grow it. Uh, uh, you know, oh, in man. say captivity or whatever you want to call it. But uh, so I mean, they're a very expensive mushroom. But ironically, in this area, they grow natural. They grow wild. I mean, we do find them every year. So I think it's, you know, it's just one of those things that's pretty neat that it's, it's seasonal, so it happens real quick. And it's just neat to be in a place that you can go out and forge on something that way and, uh, and enjoy it. There, uh, Angie said over at her house, $30 a pound a girl was selling them. Yeah, and that's actually pretty, you know, I, I, and I say it's pretty cheap. It's not, say, cheap, but... 85 where I'm at in Acadia Parish. It, it's, you know, it's one of those things, like I said, they only last so long and then they're gone, and, and no one, you know, Don't it's even not think like... About it. It's not like most things that you can buy in a grocery store. They can, they grow it in captivity in a sense year round. I, this is the one mushroom that they cannot do that with. So they are very seeked by a lot of, especially, you know, uh, big time cooks. Big restaurants pay up to $185 a pound. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. When you get into, you know, if you've got connections with certain people, and I'm just throwing a name, but... You know, if you had morels and, and you had contact with, uh, you know, Emerald or, you know, any of the big name chefs out there, Bobby Flay, uh, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, they, these guys would probably pay you no telling what because, it, like I said, it's 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 very seasonal uh, and it's the only time of the year they can get them. Uh, real quick, somebody said they put theirs in the oven with garlic and onion powder and pepper jack cheese. Man, there are so many ways. I mean, I love to, you know, chop them up and saute them uh, with onions and stuff and, and put them on, you know, you know steak or uh, even beef tips. Uh, I love to cut them in half and uh, do an egg wash and fry them with flour. I mean, there's, there's almost endless things you can do with them. They're very meaty. They're very, you know, dense, but they've got such good flavor. Oh, yeah, Lord. I love cooking with Laura, we just lost, con well, it's going back and forth. You know, and I love cooking. We've got a lot, you know, I love cooking, and I haven't done it on here because I don't think it's, I guess for me, it's just something that I don't think a lot of people... <laughs> Damn, you loud son of a bitch. I don't know, you know, I, and I may be wrong. I don't know if people don't appreciate it or just don't get into it, but I love cooking with, you know, wild mushrooms all the time, whether it's coral mushrooms. Big, big sit-down restaurants actually have paid 300 pounds plus gas. That's what John's saying. Truffles oh, are, I'm saying. It's, and truffles are very expensive, yeah. Or truffles are very expensive. And honestly, I've never even tasted truffles, so I don't even know what the hell that tastes like. That sounds like something. I don't even know where the fuck you get that. I got a better chance of finding ginseng than I do fucking truffle. I find that old saying. My bad. Yeah. What Hunter used to say? Is there a way to... Uh, get that fine. I want dumplings. Do you ship to England? <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. No, but I tell you what, hook a vacation and I'll cook it for you. I don't think I've ever had uh, truffles. Had what? Truffles. No, I haven't. I, I know that for a fact. I've never had truffles. You guys hunt ginseng? No. No. I was just saying, I finally got that a show. I remember that show they had. We went to, we went and did a job in Kentucky, and uh, the oldest boy. Yeah. The oldest boy had been watching that show, and we went into a store, and he's like, "I wonder if they got some some sang up in here." <laughs> and of course, 
the locals knew what it was, so they kind of looked at him fucking funny because he has the same accent I've got. And when you hear a coon ass talk about... And try to get the country accent involved. You hear a coon ass talking about ginseng, because I can promise you there ain't no fucking ginseng in Louisiana. Truffles are found in Pacific Northwest. I'm going to look it up. I may buy a damn piece of truffle or a truffle and fucking try it one day. I know you shred it up on on food and stuff. It's supposed to be really... I, I think I would have to imagine it looks like it would be a real earthy taste, which would fit in good with everything we eat. I know we watched a, one of Gordon Ramsay's one time, and he... He used something, he was like, it, how much it cost. Yeah, and that might be the other reason that I never tried truffles. Yeah. Truffle chicken and dumplings would be great. See, that's what I'm saying. This would be like the perfect thing. They are found at the in. bottom of birch and oak trees. What the fuck? There ain't nothing but oak on my place. Rich, te really... Rich, tasting, and earthy. Yeah, I've see, never seen a truffle either. I'm at the Google. But I think truffles would be pretty neat to try anyway. But I am definitely not. I've got chicken feet in my. I'm shoe. not paying a week's salary for. They want somebody truffles. said like fifteen hundred dollars a pound. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, can you buy about an ounce? Do, an ounce. I mean, they should like cocaine. You gotta buy it by the damn gram. Well, babe, let's let these nice people enjoy their Easter with their families. We've taken up enough of their time. I have truffle oil. Yeah, now we've had truffle oil. Have you ever heard a Cajun talk about eating truffles? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, but I will say, and I know there's a lot of Cajuns that like to cook. A lot of Cajuns like to eat. And again, I go back to what I said at the beginning of my life. Y'all eat beefsteak mushrooms? Yeah, absolutely. So I've, I've had the opportunity throughout life to travel all over the world. Well, we love y'all too. Out of the country and to several different countries. And I mean, all I'm enjoying over the United Easter. States. And so I've eaten... And I always took a, you know, even when I was like in other countries, I always, I always became Angie, real that's a good truffle. friends. I always became good friends with the cooks at like, you know, the the best restaurant in that town or whatever it was, and uh, I always learned a lot because it was just a passion. I always loved to cook and I loved learning things. Uh, so ironically, you may get on one of my lives one day, and I'm cooking something that no Cajun would even fucking consider cooking. Y'all hear Luna? She gnawing on a fucking bone I threw out there. Oh my God, yes, we love Mexican food. We love any, just about any Hispanic food, Latino food. Oh. Hell, our daughter-in-law's Peruvian. So when we do get to hang out with her, we do eat a lot of Peruvian food. I spent, I spent over a well, Right around a year in South America. So I've eaten a lot of different cultures down there, which is pretty badass. Worst thing oh, I ever thank ate, you. Worst thing I ever ate in my life was the iguana. <laughs> oh, my God. That, that just straight up. I thought. Was mm. not worth the fuck. When I went down there to go visit him, I thought I was buying beef meat and it was iguana. That shit was rank. Even a coon ass can't make that motherfucker taste good. That shit was rank. Oh, it was so... It's taste... I didn't even... I didn't... It, just, it stank. Oh, that's what I meant was bad. When the heat hit it, I quit cooking it. He came in. I said, smell this. We went... I think we went to... Well... Yeah, we went somewhere else to eat. We just, 
I'm sorry, but McDonald's hamburger was better. Fuck, DP gravel would have been better. Yeah, so if ever I get, if ever I'm in a plane crash, and iguana is like the most go-to meat, at some point I'm probably going to starve the fucking day. Somebody said I assume it was like shark. No, 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 no. It was more like, iguana is more like. They have all like, kind of work for a carpenter. Iguana would be more, if I had to compare <laughs> it to like, to try to explain it to people, it would be like the fattest pig you ever seen. And they soak the meat in straight fish oil for like two years and then left it in the sun for like three weeks. That's the fucking scent and the odor you got off of it. It smelled like the roughest. There's a handful yeah. of you that are going to know what I'm talking about. Have you ever had a pogey boat drive by you when you work it all shore? I have. A iguana tastes like or smells like a fucking pogey boat. Note to self, no iguana. Yeah, no, fuck no. Have you ate blot? Pretty much. Do you like rattlesnake? Yes. Possum on the half shell? No. Okay, well, start off with a possum ain't got a half shell. A armadillo has got a half shell. Possum is Skunk. not bad. Skunk. I'm not eating a fucking armadillo. Skunk chunks. Yeah. Now, it was fucking nasty. I'm telling you. Iguana would be the one thing if they turn loose in Louisiana. Iguana equals fish bait. Catfish bait. Yeah. yeah. Iguana is the one animal, if it exists in Louisiana, it would overrun the state. Because even fucking coon asses wouldn't eat that motherfucker. And let's say this. When you go to Aruba, if y'all ever do go on vacation and you have a rental car, you hit an iguana, you go no, to... you hit a goat. Oh, a goat, you go to jail. That's their national anthem. Animal, I mean. Anthem. That's their national animal over there. Well. Ugh. It's cold, cold today. It's a wet cold today. Yeah, it is. It is a wet cold. Yeah, watch out for goats in Aruba. Yeah. Although I did eat a lot of goat in the room. So I want to go back. Is the guy on here about the livestock still on here? I don't know. I'm all about livestock, man. I don't even know where he lives. I looked his his profile. I've been working on... I don't know where Botex at. He said he was going to give us a calf, a bottle-fed calf. I ain't seen him on here since. I even tried to call him the other day. Built, I built a pen. Happy Easter. Happy Easter to everybody. Y'all, don't forget, in two weeks from now, you'll be running over a bunch of eggs in your yard. Could you hit them? Are you going to smell them if and, it's hot where you live? And your kids didn't find them, and your old ass forgot where you hit them. Are you start smelling them? I've done that. Hello from... Fetus, Missouri, or Fetus, I don't know how y'all say it. I can promise you it is not pronounced. Bill. The way your coon ass brain. Is <laughs> That's what's bad good. about where I work at, because I pronounce stuff the way I think we would say it in Louisiana, and they laugh at me. Yeah, they ain't none of that right. No. No. No, I mean. And a lot of our clients are from up north and they say like yeah i've come to the conclusion even as a superintendent they'd ask me to read something and i'd just say i can't read it's uh gravel and the reason i'd say that is Festus. because i guarantee you we don't pronounce have you ever ate blout run over the eggs and the glass you lost while <laughs> run over the eggs and the glasses you lost while looking for the eggs <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no shit. I ain't no doubt. 
Oh, hello. It's Hunter. I want to go young, is it? You want to come talk to him while I talk to him? Ah, uh, let me go. And they don't want to talk to me. As soon as you leave, they all want to go to bed. Oh, let me get over here. I gotta get these fucking glasses. Y'all better be glad I didn't lose these yet. Hey, y'all. Look at her walking off over there. <laughs> Do y'all eat the neutral rat? I have eaten neutral rat happy Easter. Well, happy Easter, Ronnie. I appreciate y'all being on here. Yes, we have eaten neutral rat, man. We've eaten that very little in Louisiana we won't eat. And it ain't that we don't, or it ain't that we eat everything we see, but uh, it's just a matter of we know how to cook everything we, we, we need to cook. Happy Easter, John. My partner, how are you? I'm doing good. Happy Easter from Philly. Happy Easter. Happy Easter from Southwest Louisiana. Happy Easter to you. We love each and every one of y'all. I got it. Even though you put live, I got it. I wasn't going to call you out on it, but I got it. I love you too, babe. We love everyone, man. It's just, uh, you know, good life. I mean, what what more could you want than to live out in the woods and get up and keep your old body moving and go to work, come out here and enjoy the life of living out in these woods? Ka-chow. There's a Kwanzaa hut. And then right behind me, is where we're building our cabin. Y'all don't get too excited. That's a company vehicle. Ain't nothing I'm paying for. I quit paying on shit a long time ago. I just buy what I need. Fresh raccoon angles and rice. I tell you what, now a good raccoon is good to eat. Just like I heard Angel say something earlier, somebody asked if we accepted Hispanics or Mexican. Man, some of the best damn goat I ever ate. Uh, was cooked by an old Mexican man. Love the backwoods, no judgment, just good. Absolutely, man. We don't judge people. We just live life and we accept people to come in and hang out and live with us and we'll get through this shit together. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Have you eaten B A L what the fuck was that? What is it? B A L U T. Yeah, I don't even know what that is. It may be something I know in a different different language. I gotta get over here and warm up. Cold. Chicken or a hen for the woods mushroom. Well, we're cooking old hen today, but tomorrow morning old turkey season open up. We'll be hunting one of them old. Thunder chicken. Thunder chicken. <laughs> Thought that dog was a little bear at first. Fuck, she's big as a fucking bear. What do you do for work? I work for a local contractor right here in town. Strippers are us. Uh, yeah, strippers are us. I'm a. Don't hate. Don't hate. My stage name is uh. Rut Rudolph. R Rut Rudolph. And 
Yep. Sometimes yep. penis sealing. Rut root all. You get a taste of this, it'll cure all. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just Joe. I work for a local contractor. I run heavy equipment. Does it show you? <laughs> yeah, let me turn that logo off. I don't want to say something, get my ass in trouble. But uh, now I run heavy equipment at the time. I, I spent I spent 32 years of my life as a welder, uh, worked pipeline, and six years ago. No, they, you spent that long. Six years ago, I retired, or I say retired. I quit pipeline. I quit traveling, and then we moved here and. I went to work for a small local contractor. Love you cooking from California. Hell, come on, anytime you want, man. Y'all, y'all hook up. Y'all, I'm telling you, y'all need to get a group of y'all together. Hey, you ain't pipeline for thirty-two years. Well, I mean, I was welding for since I was sixteen. Oh, true. I'm gonna say I put you at twenty. No, well, I mean, working here six years, I put you at five years old. I start, no, I started welding when I was 16. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I got to aggravate you every now and then. Where's everybody from? Georgia. Well, I'm from Louisiana. I live in Arkansas. We got my baby girl, Angie, from Oklahoma. I'm going to turn this back over to my wife. My damn viewers are dropping faster than my old lady's panties when I exit her. Oh, I can't say that. Um, okay. All right, let's flip the camera, and I'm going to give it back to Angel. Y'all seem to like her talking more than y'all do me. No, they don't. You about knocked it over. I got to come over here and check on these chicken and dump them. Hell, somebody's got to fucking feed the family, baby. Oh, shit. Happy Thanksgiving from Boston. Happy Thanksgiving? Well, let me tell y'all what I've done with this chicken and dumplings. So, first thing I've done, well, I didn't do it. Angel did, actually, because she got one of them. What do they call that thing? Huh? Was that pot you got? Instapot. Instapot. Yes, you got one of them Instapot. Basically, it's a fucking pressure cooker. We put a whole chicken in there. Now, for y'all that don't know, I pulled the feathers off of it before we put it in there. But then we put a whole chicken in there. And in like 30 minutes, that motherfucker was falling off the bone. So then I deboned it. And we made chicken and dumplings. Well... Now we got chicken or shredded chicken. So that motherfucker is done cooked down like you wouldn't believe. Now I don't know about y'all, but I like to put my dumpling on some good old bread. Now as y'all can tell, my wife and I, we like mice. You know, mice eat a little bit at a time, and the next thing you know, half your shit's gone because they ate holes all over it. But look, me and my wife are like mice. We done ate holes all over this fucking bread. Wish it was cornbread, though. Cornbread? I cooked cornbread in about 10 minutes. Inside in the oven. <laughs> <laughs> we'll hook you up with some nah, cornbread. Nah, I am needing wasting more bread. We need to do some cornbread. Maybe we'll do cornbread. Oh, we have fried fried turkey, fried morels, and cornbread next weekend. Next Sunday. That's what we're going to do. I next can't week. cheat next week. I can only cheat this weekend. Well, I'm a, you're going to have to get on a high-protein diet. Oh, Lord, I ain't put enough seeds in my damn bucket. So I'm going to do a quick growing. 39 states and three countries. Well, guys, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. It's between a sweet and a regular cornbread. I, I hope, like seriously, every one of y'all is having a blessed day today. Don't care what you believe in. I just still hope you're having a blessed day. It means I just hope you're having a good day. How do you make your dumplings? Flour, baking powder, salt, butter, and then milk. The quantities, let's see, off the top of my head, 
one and two third cup. To, what is it? I can't remember off the top of my head. Hell, I mean, I make shit every day. I can't remember. A Even cup and a half of all-purpose flour. Two teaspoons of baking powder. Three quarter teaspoons of salt. Three, yeah. A, a tablespoon of butter. Melted. Melted butter. And then I add just whole milk but, until you get to the consistency you want, which is going to be somewhere around two-thirds of a cup. Yeah. But... You can play with that. Like I said, get it to the consistency you want. And then roll it out. A uh, pinch of this and a pinch of that, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm i going to be honest. I don't measure a lot of things. I, I do it. Yes, we eat Mexican cornbread. By feel. Uh, <sighs> and so forth. But, uh, and then get you a little bowl of flour. You're going to need it. Throw on your table or whatever to roll it out. Uh, if you're not comfortable with a rolling pin and you want to get the same consistency you can buy like a 1-8 wood dial you can cut them you can lay your wood dials out put your dough that way your rolling pin won't go any deeper than that you'll keep it consistent i i just do it by eye but we are live on here every sunday at around 11 o'clock central standard time and we always dirtying up some fucking cast iron pots, cooking some shit. When I say shit, see in Louisiana, when you say, bro, this is the shit, that means that's something that you're busting. It's the good stuff. So don't take it the wrong way. We ain't actually cooking shit. Sometimes we cook SOS. Shit on a shame. We ain't done that in a lot. We ain't never done that on a lot. Mm -mm. May have cooked some old shit on the shingle one night. That's one of them meals you come in, both of you dragging your ass because you had a bad day at work, and you can put that together like that. Yep. And that's when I bet you make a two by four turd. <laughs> I mean, there's some good <laughs> fucking eating right there. Okay, I got to go inside. I'm cold. I've been out here right, long enough. Well, let's let I'm not being go. rude. They go, they need to go visit their family anyway. Hell, even they got family <sighs> they do like. Then they like us. They got family they don't like, but they still got to go visit with them. Put a smile on your <sighs> face. Be happy. Tell everyone you love them. We love